नमस्कार मित्रांनो माय बेस्ट गुरु चॅनल मध्ये आपले मनापासून स्वागत आम्हाला प्रोत्साहन देण्यासाठी सबस्क्राईब बटन वर क्लिक करून सबस्क्राईब करून आम्हाला मदत करा म्हणजे आम्ही तुमच्यासाठी घेऊन येऊ जास्तीत जास्त व्हिडिओज तसेच आमच्या नवीन व्हिडिओचे नोटिफिकेशन मिळण्यासाठी घंटीच्या चित्रावर क्लिक करा Dear students, lesson number 11, Cell Structure and Microorganisms. Question number 1. Answer the following questions. A. What is cell? Answer. The fundamental, structural and functional unit of organisms is called cell. B. Name the different organelles in a cell. Answer. Mitochondria, vacuoles, nucleus, chloroplast, lysosomes, Golgi body, endoplasmic reticulum, etc. are the different organelles in the cell. C. What are the microorganisms? Answer. The organisms which cannot be seen with our eyes but can only be observed under microscope are called microorganisms D which are the different types of microorganisms answer A according to shape and life processes microorganisms are classified as algae fungi protozoa bacteria and viruses B. According to usefulness, their types are useful microorganisms and harmful microorganisms. Question number 2. Fill in the blanks with proper word. A. The organelles called the dad dash is present in the plant cell. Chloroplast. The organelles called the chloroplast is present in the plant cell. B. Garbage is converted into dad dash by microorganisms. Fertilizers. Garbage is converted into fertilizers by microorganisms. C. In the cell, photosynthesis is carried out with the help of Dad dash. Chloroplasts. In the cell, photosynthesis is carried out with the help of chloroplasts. D. An electron microscope is necessary for the study of dad dash. Microbes. An electron microscope is necessary for the study of microbes. Question number 3. What is difference between us? A. Plant cell and animal cell. Plant cell, animal cell. 1. Plant cells are with cell wall. Animal cells do not have cell wall. 2. Plant cells contain only one large vacuole. Animal cells contain more than one vacuole. 3. Plant cells contain chloroplasts. Chloroplasts are missing in animal cells. Lysosomes are not present in it. Lysosomes are present in animal cells. B. Prokaryotic cell and eukaryotic cell. Prokaryotic cell, eukaryotic cell. Prokaryotic cells 
do not have the membrane bound organelles organelles of this type are with membrane 2 nuclear material directly come into contact with the cytoplasm as its organelles are without membrane organelles of it are with membrane therefore they are distinct from cytoplasm 3 prokaryotic cells are smaller than eukaryotic cells eukaryotic cells are bigger in size 4 mitochondria are absent in it mitochondria are present in it question number 4 sketch and describe plant cell and animal cell answer plant cell plant cells are eukaryotic cells plant cells have a definite shape due to the presence of the cell wall around them these cells consist of various types of membrane bound cell organelles plant cell contains single large vacuoles chloroplasts are present in it and therefore plants can make their food cytoplasm in it is less dense in comparison with animal cell animal cell animal cells are also eukaryotic cells these cells consist of various types of membrane bound cell organelles animal cells contain more than one vacuoles vacuoles in animal cells are small lysosomes are present in animal cells which are absent in plant cell mitochondria present in it produce energy golgi bodies in it synthesize protein this type of cells are covered with cell membrane question number 5 explain the uses and harmful effects of microorganisms answer 1 uses of microorganisms 1 medicines are produced using microbes these medicines are called antibiotics diseases like tuberculosis typhoid cholera etc previously these were incurable now have come under control because of antibiotics 3 domestic animals also can be protected using antibiotics 4 the fermentation process is done by the microorganisms because of which we can make yogurt from milk alcohol from grain and fruits bread from flour this process make the food more nutritious and tasty five the garbage sewage are converted into manure which is the best quality fertilizer two harmful effects of microorganisms 1 some microorganisms grow on our food stuffs and release toxic material which make our food poisonous eating such spoiled food can cause loose motions and vomiting fungus grow quickly on moist and stale food in summer milk and meat get spoiled quickly they spoil the food stuffs like pickles and jams if they kept open for long time four pathogens which are microorganisms are found in contaminated water food air they are responsible for various diseases like typhoid cholera tuberculosis etc some of the diseases spreading microorganisms are spread through insects like mosquitoes
Dear students, now question number 6. Give scientific reasons. A. Diseases are spread on a large scale during periods of heavy rainfall and floods. Answer. 1. Because of heavy rainfall, water gets contaminated and food also gets contaminated. As a result, diseases like cholera, typhoid spread. 2. Water gets collected on the earth's surface. Mosquitoes breed on this water. Diseases like malaria, dengue, etc. are spread through mosquitoes. 3. There is moisture and warm temperature in rainy season which is favorable for pathogens. Diseases like diphtheria, pneumonia, tuberculosis spread very fast in such atmosphere. Therefore, diseases spread on a large scale during periods of heavy rainfalls and floods. B. There is a possibility of food poisoning if we eat stale food. Answer. Microbes use foodstuffs for their own nutrition. Some microbes release toxic materials into the food. Such toxins spoil the food. They make the food poisonous. Therefore, there is a possibility of food poisoning if we eat stale food and eating such a spoiled food can cause loose motions and vomiting. C. Soil is turned over during tilling. Answer. Plants need nitrogen for their growth. Some bacteria present in the soil convert atmospheric nitrogen into compounds. Such compounds are useful for plants. They are fertilizers for them. When soil is turned over compounds get mixed in the soil and easily reach to the roots of the crops. Therefore, soil is turned over during tilling. D. Fungus grows quickly in moist and humid conditions. Answer. The high air humidity typical of wet climates produce large amounts of moisture. The main prerequisite for fungus growth. The temperatures in humid climates are usually high throughout most of the year and contribute to the quick reproduction of fungus spores. Fungus grows quickly in moist or humid conditions. E. A refrigerator is used in almost every home. Answer. The microorganisms can survive only in the temperature range of 15 degree centigrade to 35 degree centigrade. Temperature is reduced using refrigerator. Therefore, microorganisms cannot survive in such a low temperature and our foodstuffs will remain unspoiled. Therefore, a refrigerator is used in a almost every home. F. Bread rises during baking. Answer. Yeast is added while preparing the bread. Yeast is a kind of microbe which does the process of fermentation in the batter of the bread. In this process, yeast releases carbon dioxide. It makes the bread bigger and spongy. Therefore, bread rises during the baking. G. Fodder is soaked in water before offering to cattle. Answer. If the fodder is soaked in the water, it gets fermented. It becomes more nutritious. Cattle like the fermented fodder as it becomes tasty. Therefore, fodder is soaked in water before offering to cattle. Dear students, 
क्वेश्चन नंबर सेवन वेन विल यू यूज ए सिंपल माइक्रोस्कोप एंड वेन ए कंपाउंड माइक्रोस्कोप एक्सप्लेन इन डिटेल्स हाउ विल यू यूज देम आंसर सिंपल माइक्रोस्कोप सिंपल माइक्रोस्कोप इज यूज एट ए बेसिक वेन द ऑब्जेक्ट इज नॉट टू मच स्मॉल only one lens is used in it therefore its magnifying capacity is low its light source is natural it can be used for enlarging small letters repairing watches etc compound microscopes it has added lens so it is used by professionals for research purposes its magnifying capacity is higher than simple microscope illuminator is used in it for the source of light which is helpful to see the small particles it has adjustment screw and lenses can be adjusted so that we can clearly see the object Three to five lenses are used in it. We can watch algae, fungi, bacterium, etc. under compound microscope. Amala Protsan Dene Sati Subscribe button var click karun Subscribe karun Amala Madad Kara मजे आम्मी तुम घेन यू जास्तीत जास्त वीडियोज तसेच आम नवीन वीडियोज नोटिफिकेशन मिलने घंटी चित्रा क्लिक करा